What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the beautiful beaches of Auckland here at Piha Beach next to Lion Mountain. Leo's in the house. Let's go. Today's transmission, playing it safe is destructive. The longer you wait, the longer you hesitate, the longer you sit on the fence and analyze and get ready to get ready, the worse it is for you. Every single one of us is a unique snowflake that has been gifted with talents and medicine that can only be gifted from you. And when you sit on the fence and think about whether you're going to get hurt or not, you are robbing not just yourself, but all of us. Where this comes from, this overanalyzing, and I know it because I've lived it for a long time, is this idea of trying to get it right, as if right has ever existed. Right and wrong are mental constructs that are made up. Right in New Zealand may be wrong in Australia. Right for the Republicans is different from the Democrats. Right for me may be wrong for you. This idea of right and wrong does not exist and it is based on and, and sort of built on false pretense that there is some going to be some kind of security in this conversation. Guys, there is no security. Everything in the world is always changing, always moving. And for those of you who are just graduating from college or figuring out that the job market doesn't work the way it used to, that security of your degree, that security of the job you've had for 30 years, that no longer exists. The best thing you could ever do is get off the fence and jump and stop playing it safe. And you know what I mean. So if you are in, uh, let's say, a new relationship where you're dating someone and you find that this person is so beautiful and so fun and, and you want to go there, but you also have an understanding that, well, well, what if I give my heart and he breaks it? What if I give my all and she breaks it? What if I put everything in and it doesn't work? Oh, what? Wow. Wow, what would happen? But guys, it's not about the product. It's about the process. It's about who you become on the way. It's about the scrapes and the falls. It's about the profane and the profound. It's about the juice of life, whether it be bitter or sweet. It's about being in the game, guys. And so many of us sit on the sidelines and wait. We try to figure it out. We analyze and we analyze. We sit there and we, and we want to have this safe little plan and make sure that we're never hurt. But guys, pain is a part of life. Sadness is a part of life. Anger is a part of life. Stop trying to sidestep what's there and get in the game and see what you're made of. Some of you guys, and I'm sure you can relate to this when it comes to relationships, have you ever dated someone that you thought it was it? You were like, yes, this is my one. This is gonna work out forever. We're going to ride off into the sunshine and we're gonna make out and we're gonna love each other all the time, right? And then what happened? A few months in, a few weeks in, something came up and it ended. But if you really take a look, if you really take a look, you may find that that was one of the biggest and best gifts you ever had. Because you were in that relationship and you weren't playing it safe, you got to see what it felt like to be in the dance. You got to learn patience. You got to learn where you have been triggered and what you need to work on to move to the next level, to prepare yourself for your one. But you'll never find that out if you're sitting on the sidelines playing it safe. So from my heart to yours, please, please give us your gift. Stop waiting. Tomorrow is not promised. As you watch this video, thousands of people did not wake up. Give your gift, guys. I love you so much. From the beautiful beaches of New Zealand. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. We want the beautiful, you know, handsome, strong, kind, loving, powerful man, woman. We want people to pay more attention to us. We want significance. We want to be validated. We want more finances. We want more abundance in our lives. But a lot of us aren't willing to be those things.